All right, folks, so today I'm going to show you a demo of our uh, denoising Bluetooth microphone uh, uh, demonstration. And uh, what we're showing here is uh, our Apollo 4 uh, platform using AI to remove noise from speech. So when you're you're talking in a, in a noisy environment and you have like you're trying to talk. And that's captured by a microphone. You, you've all had the experience where there's noise happening. Now that used to be you remember in the in the old days when you're on a, on a Zoom call or, or a Teams call and there was a leaf blower outside and you say everybody sorry for the leaf blower. You don't have to do that anymore because Teams is running denoising in the background or Zoom is uh, running denoising in the background. All the teleconference uh, companies uh, do this. There's also denoising all over the place. Like your smartphone is probably denoising your phone calls. Um, that's why you can talk in a, in a loud bar and the other side will not even realize that you're in a loud bar. Um, I've tried that recently with my son the other day. I didn't try it on purpose. I, I apologize for the loud noise and he's, he goes, what noise? Uh, so you're all your customers are all your your customers are already used to the idea of having denoising. What's novel here is that we're running it on an Apollo 4, right? And it's, Apollo 4 is a great application, a, a great platform for this because it has a lot of compute. It's very power efficient, and this model is small enough that it fits in a corner of the MRAM and uh, the TCM. RAM. Okay, so so what I'm going to show today is I'm going to I'm going to uh, Capture the audio using a uh, one of these things, which is an Apollo 4 EVB. Using this, this shield being on the top is a um, is kind of a, a way to connect the PDM microphone to this. We're going to use a PDM microphone. There's three channels here. I'm only going to use one, and I'm going to connect this to a Bluetooth. Um, sorry, a, a USB uh, battery. Now, once I connect it, it's going to start transmitting audio. The audio is going to be captured by here, denoised on board, uh, transmitted over Bluetooth, uh, it, it encoded using Opus, then transmitted over Bluetooth. And then on the laptop, we're going to use a, a JavaScript uh, application that just collects that data, decodes it so you get sounds like something, and then does a pretty presentation of how it looks. Um, so the laptop is only basically a speaker here, right? It's just collecting the audio that we transmitted and and putting it back into audio. Um, and so without further ado, let me stop sharing this. I will stop sharing this. OK, so hopefully everybody can see this. It's not connected yet. In fact, it's not transmitting yet because I haven't connected it. So I'm going to connect my EDD. Now it's being powered. See the LED is on. Um, and I'm going to press connect. There we go. Getting primary audio. Now you can hear me. Uh, you can see the audio that's happening on the screen here. Um, and uh, what I'm showing here is the audio waveform. It's kind of a dynamic waveform. What I'm showing on the right side here is a spectrogram. Now, pay attention to the shape of the spectrogram. You see how it's all it, it, that shows freak, like energy per frequency band across time. So a lot of the red is where my speech is. And but speech goes all the way up to the top. When I say you see, t, that, that's a, that. So any sibilant sound, it, it crosses, it uses all the frequencies. So you can't just say, OK, anything above this frequency, I cancel because you'll you'll sound muffled. Um, and right now we're not speech denoising, so that when you turn on the EVB, the noise cancellation is up. Now I'm going to do a, a cool little trick here, and you're listening. You're still listening to me on my microphone. So now you hear me, right? Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm not. There's no way for me to check, and you're still hearing all the audio. You're hearing my my laptop fan probably because now the denoising is gone. The laptop is not denoising anymore. Um, if I turn on something annoying like this thing, oh man, can you still hear me? I doubt it, right? And let's turn on the speech denoising on the EVB and see what happens. Okay, now it's denoising. The, the laptop sound should be gone. 
my voice should be clear. If I do this, I'm going to turn this on. You can't, you can't hear that. You can still hear my voice. Now I'm going to turn denoising off, and it's back. And I turn on denoising, and it's on. So that's that's denoising and acting. Right? It, you're, you're, I'm still doing this, right? Here, I'm still super annoying sound, and now it's off. All right, so that's a demo. Thank you. All the, all, again, all of this is open source. The model itself is super solid. Um, oh, one more demo I'd like to do is, uh, you know, when you, you when you hold your mic a little bit too close, um, and you start. Oh man, that, that must sound terrible on the other side there. Okay, now I'm going to keep talking with my close talking uh, thing, and then it should get a lot better. Disabled. So I'm blowing into the mic, and you you barely hear that. So th that's not really wind noise, but it's close to wind noise. All right, okay. So that's it. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. If you have any questions, reach out to your sales folks or to to the AI team at Emmet. Thank you.